third part of Synthesizer Basics. Um, in this uh, third part, we're going to be looking at envelopes. Um, so let's jump straight in. Uh, for this, uh, for the first part of this, I'm going to be demonstrating using Massive, um, mainly due to the fact that it's got a graphic or it's got a graph representation of its envelopes which makes it quite easy to demonstrate how stuff works. Um, so this is basically um, what an envelope looks like. Um, all envelopes have four main parts. They've got an attack, a decay, a sustain, or in Massive's case, it's called a level and a release. Um, uh, the attack of a sound um, is basically the length of time it takes to get from absolutely no sound at all to the loudest point. For example, if it's got an attack of zero, it will just kick straight in as loud as it's going to get. Um, if you turn it up, it's going to basically sort of fade in. Um, next we have decay, which is the time it takes from uh, to get for a sound to get from uh, the loudest point that it's going to reach to the sustain level. Um, and the sustain level is Basically, the t uh, the level that it the sound will um, play at once it's reached its highest point, and then gone down uh, by however much the the decay says it's going to go down by. Um, so let's say uh, let's just let's just do something really extreme just to demonstrate. Um, so if we've got absolutely no decay, I mean absolutely no sustain rather, um, it, the sound will get to its loudest point. Um, and as the decay is quite long, it will take a while, but it will eventually get to, there'll be no sound. And it will sound something like this. Well, as the decay is so long, it basically stays on. Whereas if I was to turn it to midway, You can hear that it's quickly fading to nothing because this, um, there's no sustain and the decay is reasonably short. Whereas if I just took it, the decay all the way down, all you'd probably hear is a click. There you go. Um, so if I take the decay to almost halfway and level up to about a third, you'll hear it which is loud, it, the, um, the decay takes it down to about a third of like the max volume. And then that's where the notes held up or the volumes held up. Whereas if I then increase the level by another third, it'll, um, it won't be as loud as it could be, but it will decay to about two thirds of like the max volume. And then if I just whack it up the whole way, it will just be a solid, um, solid sound. Um, which brings us to the final part of the envelope, which is the release. The release um, is the time it takes for a sound to get um, to fade from uh, to zero once you've let go of your uh, the key. Um, if you set a release at zero, it's going to basically stop as soon as you take your finger off. Um, so to demonstrate, you can hear it just like ending as soon as I take my finger off. Um, if I turn it, if I turn it up to the other extreme, it just pretty much won't end. But you can see it fading out here. Um, 
something slightly more subtle would be to turn it to here. Um, so that's how release works. Um, certain sounds um, that most people create, such as pads, plucks, and this sort, these sorts of sounds, normally have um, a generic uh, envelope shape. For example, pads will normally have a reasonable size attack as they normally fade in. And so on. Whereas um, plucks are normally shaped like this. Um, as they're basically very stabby sounds with very little sustain and a little bit of decay, so you get the pluck. Um, and that's that for sort of that sort of sound. Um, so to show you where you can find envelopes on most synthesizers, that's obviously where you get it on uh, the envelopes on uh, Massive. It's probably worth noting that envelope four on Massive is assigned by default to the amp. So messing around with envelope four and you'll mess around with the amp, whereas if you mess around with envelope 3, um, it's not by default assigned to anything, so nothing will happen. Um, so yeah. Uh, so let's have a look at the ES2. In the ES2, the envelopes are down here. You've got uh, envelope 1 envelope 2 and envelope 3 um, in on the ES2 the third envelope is the one that affects the volume or the amp so uh, if I was to do this I'd get a, quite a plucky sound um, or if I was to do this I'd get um, obviously that long attack but yeah this this is where the envelopes are located in the ES2 on the ES1 your envelopes over here Silent. Your envelope is at the top here. And in Zeta, your envelope is over here. So if we take uh, so yeah, this. Here's uh, the envelope for uh, Zeta, and obviously it's on the um, AMP envelope. Um, so that's pretty much uh, how envelopes work. Um, like um, like LFOs, you can assign envelopes to various things to modulate them. Um, for example, you can modulate filters 
uh, to create certain sounds, but I'll save that for another video. Um, if you're unsure about anything in this video, please do leave a comment in the comment section or leave me a message in my YouTube inbox. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.